So what's the difference between this shiplap and this shiplap? Well, I can tell you it's about $1,000. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how we did our daughter's bathroom with shiplap that cost less than 100 So before we get started, I want to give you some reference of what shiplap actually looks like. This is a piece of 3 quarter inch pine shiplap. It's got a rabbit on one side. It's got a rabbit on both sides. The rabbit is a piece where they router it or use a table saw to cut a lip on it where they can stack on top of each other. And that is a piece of prime select. Now we're going to look at Home Depot's website and we're going to show you the shiplap that they have there. This is, uh, this stuff doesn't, your money doesn't go far with this stuff. The first piece I showed you or this, they've got anywhere from 8 foot to 12 foot boards, anywhere from 5 and a quarter inch to 7 and a quarter inch wide boards. And you can see here looking that the pieces are great. They look great. They're already pre-primed. They've got the rabbit on both sides. So they stack. They give you the nickel gap, which is the common terminology for the spacing between the shiplap once it's installed is about one eighth of an inch or the width of a nickel. Now this stuff is great, but again, you get very little for your money. I'm going to show you right now how I did our daughter's bathroom for a lot less. I knew going into this project we could not use the regular three quarter inch ship laps we had to go with something much thinner to fit behind the toilet that's already in place so we went with quarter inch plywood from home depot cut the length and then we rip it the appropriate width i'm going to link the plywood in the description below this is absolutely the cheapest plywood i could find from there i take and rip the quarter inch sheer plywood down into six inch boards or planks six inches is the plank size that i think looks the best you can go up to seven and a quarter eight inch i just don't like the way it looks you know, you can do this with a table saw or you can do this with a circular saw. You do not have to have much more tools than that circular saw. Now I use Liquid Nails Construction Adhesive and I put a nice thick bead, you know, in a zigzag pattern down the uh, center of the plank. The reason I want to do this is because you're going to be in a high humidity area, brad nailing or any kind of finished trim nail these boards to the wall and you could potentially get some movement so I want to add the construction adhesive to give it that little extra oomph behind there and I think it's gonna work out great then just uh, I've already pre marked all my studs so I know where my nails need to go Here you can see we've got the second piece installed. The light is still hanging while, as long as we could. Then we remove the light, we put the third piece in, marking this specific location on the plank that the wires would need to come through. Then we just added all the pieces down the wall until I get to the top of the toilet when I realize I'm gonna have to remove the toilet to get the pieces behind there. Now that I realized it, I guess I knew it the whole time. I just kept putting it off till I got to that point. With the toilet out of the way, now we can get the rest of the shiplap laid down the wall and we'll just about be done. By the way, I'm just using a screw in between the boards to get the 1 8 inch or the nickel gap between the adjoining boards.
this is everybody's favorite thing to do here sand I wish I'd done one thing different I wish I would have sanded each board individually before putting them on the wall once they're attached to the wall the sanding creates the dust that goes into the grooves that can mess with your finish so I ended up spending a lot of extra time cleaning out in between the grooves and tack cloth and things of that nature to make sure this stuff was ready for primer and paint uh, that's one tip you might keep in mind once we got all the dirt and debris cleaned out we got out the uh, spray gun and air compressor filled it full of Zinzer B-I-N Zinzer Ben primer and we shot I just shot all the grooves right there I wanted to get the paint down in the in the grooves and that one eighth, in, one eighth of an inch gap in between each plank so I just shot each board I didn't cover didn't need to cover every board fully I just wanted to get those grooves sprayed to make sure there wasn't a dark line there I wanted to make sure that paint got in all the grooves I also want to note here that on each end where the planks meet the adjoining sheetrock wall I did caulk that joint with some 30 minute caulk just so it would be a nice crisp clean edge let's talk different ways of doing this for a second realistically you can paint the wall first the sheetrock wall first white and then you can pre-paint all the edges of your shiplap boards white so that you don't have to spray this is just something I knew I was gonna have to spray the vanity so I thought I'd spray it all in one shot versus making you know, separate areas of work for me so that's the reason I sprayed you don't have to have a spray gun to do this And finally, we just throw the paint to it. I use a small roller and a cut-in brush to do this little wall here. I use a small roller because it doesn't gob the paint inside the grooves of the shiplap. I use my cut-in brush to get around the edges, cut it in first, and then roll the roll the center. Uh, using Sherwin Williams Alabaster White, it's it's what matches the rest of the house. It's a uh, very good white it's got a little more cream to it than the other other whites the pure white does but we really like it and here's the finished product it turned out great you know this shiplap cost us just the shiplap itself was less than fifty dollars once you had the construction adhesive the brad nails things of that paint things of that nature you're about to $100 to do that one wall and there's plenty of paint left over so you can keep going this turned out great don't spend thousands on shiplap special for accent walls you can do this stuff right here you can actually still you can use MDF you can use plywood you can use sand ply you can use whatever you want to to get that same look it's just all you know thinking outside the box you don't have to buy the really expensive shiplap just gotta have a little creativity with it good luck Make sure you click the like button, click the subscribe button. I'd love to see you. 
keep up with our other videos here. I'm going to put these videos here. These are the ones you should be watching next. It's If you haven't seen them already, it's about how we've upgraded this bathroom with the vanity and so forth. And thanks for watching.